Has Tesla completely changed the way it estimates your battery usage on a particular charge? Mm, let's get into it. First, a little electric vehicle resume, if I do say so myself, just to give you a background of what I'm familiar with and how long I've been driving these cars. Well, 2014 was my very first electric vehicle. It was actually a uh, Toyota RAV4 EV. It had a Tesla battery, it had a Tesla drivetrain, and we drove that thing for like 55,000 miles. It was completely awesome, at 100 miles at a time, because uh, at the end it was like 90. Uh, then we got a 2014 Chevrolet Volt, which is a, a plug-in hybrid. Got about 35 on battery and the rest was on gasoline. Completely suited our needs until our kids got bigger. Uh, then we moved up to, or actually moved down to a Chevrolet Bolt. We got two of those. That's a fully battery electric uh, vehicle. Got about 230 miles of range or so. And then we got this uh, 2019 Tesla Model 3 and uh, my wife has a 2022 Tesla Model Y performance. So we've been driving electric for a very long time and each of those manufacturers have different ways of calculating their uh, battery usage or your perceived or upcoming battery usage. Uh, back in the day, if I recall correctly, the Toyota and the Chevys use something called a GOM or Guess-O-Meter. And that was based on your past usage, your current usage, what it thinks you're going to be using on a particular drive. It was doing a lot of guessing. That's why it was a guessometer. Fast forward to Tesla, where they use the EPA rated range, and that was pretty much a flat line. That's what it is, and that's what you're going to get, and that's how it calculated things. Now, I come to find out, after a recent software update, it is uh, 2025.8 is when this showed up. And let's take a look at the wording and see what you think about all this. Are they moving toward a GOM? All right, you tap on the car, you tap on software, and you scroll up and you hit the release notes, and you're gonna get what the uh, latest software updates are giving you. Sometimes it's not too much information. Like here, it just says the release contains minor fixes and improvements. But if you go back one version, which is basically the same version, this is just a minor fixes for this one. If you go to here, this is where the juicy and the good stuff is. First of all, they've got all kinds of uh, different uh, features that we can now uh, check out the battery health of our uh, cars, which previously was in the service mode only area. Now it's uh, for everybody to use under controls, service and battery health. It's also, I'm gonna throw this up on the screen, it's also on your app. You could uh, see how things are looking on your car as well under the service tab, I believe, and then uh, battery health. So. But this right here, this is the juicy stuff. Your battery's energy estimate now accounts for your vehicle's usage characteristics and will adjust over time based on your history. The total available battery energy remains unchanged. Now, I haven't noticed much up here in the way of the percentage and the battery and all that stuff. This car uh, basically charges to uh, 150 miles at 80%. Uh, I have a couple of videos recently of what 100% means and all that stuff too as well. But uh, I don't think this has changed. I, there's gonna be something different in the algorithm or the coding in terms of maybe road trips and how it estimates uh, your arrival. But uh, what are your thoughts on this? Let's comment and uh, interact and all that kind of fun stuff. And uh, let me know what you think this second paragraph means. It's very interesting. It seems to be worded in the fact that it might be a GOM, a guess-o-meter, um, but this would be a radical change, a departure from what Tesla has been doing all along. Real quick, I do wanna mention the uh, view your last 10, 100 or 200 miles, 15, 150 or 300 kilometers of energy usage in the consumption page. Uh, with the option to clear your history. So go to the app, uh, Launcher, Energy App, Consumption. Let's take a look at that real quick. There's Energy, Consumption, and there it is. There's the tabs right there. We've got uh, 10, 100, and 200 miles. And uh, this is all new. This is kind of cool. Just, you know, the more information they can give us as a driver uh, is, is a good thing, especially for road trips. Day-to-day uh, -day use, who cares? You know, you drive it around, you go to work, you come back, you plug it in. Oh, so the uh, battery test is now under uh, service and it's right here, battery health. 
And it says my battery is healthy, although I don't know how it knows that because I've actually not run the test. But a big green bar is definitely got to be a good thing, right? Uh, so you can run the uh, optional battery health test to compare your battery's energy retention to when it was new. To perform this test, your vehicle must remain connected to an AC charging station for up to 11 hours. Uh, once the test is complete, the range estimate displayed in your vehicle may be recalibrated. Test results are valid for up to six months. Uh, once results expire, you will have the option to do another new test. So you only can do this twice a year, apparently. I uh, think I should do a video on this. I just need to find a spare 11 hours where I'm not using this car. Probably overnight might be best. As far as my battery being healthy, it says your battery's energy retention is within expected range based on its age and mileage. So there must be uh, some way of doing a real quick test to give you that uh, fancy green bar and put your mind at ease. There you go. That's the latest Tesla software update 2025.8. And then of course the, uh, the bug fixes update after that. And while it's not the glamorous massive update that we're used to seeing for holiday updates, uh, the line items in there uh, are very useful, very informational, and might be drastically changing the way we see how range is estimated on our cars. All right, so what do you think this all means? What are the changes that we're going to see moving forward with this new language that seems to be a GOM, but maybe not, who knows? Are we gonna see drastic changes on how our cars are estimating our range? Uh, maybe you're seeing them ready. Comment down below, let's mix it up, and don't forget to hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Over 15,000 people so far blows my mind. Thank you to each and every one of you, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.